guys on the phone. Did someone just get, he's on a flat and he's just mobbing. He's far. I think someone is inside of this right now. Dang. It was so ridiculous. Dang, look at that. That's like a new car, spray painted. <laughs> don't, don't. Nope. That is a cop. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, yep, sorry. <laughs> How we doing folks? Welcome back to the channel. We got a beautiful, a little bit chilly Monday afternoon out here in Los Angeles, California. Beautiful blue skies though, sunny, almost golden hour, perfect riding weather, uh, so we can't complain. We are in the last few weeks for the Ultra B giveaway, hicksfam.com, where you can get this hoodie. Uh, we also have some new merch up there. We are just shy of 500 people who have entered. If you ask me, that's pretty good odds. Uh, still fair game, you can win a basically brand new Ultra B Mycerron Ultra B. The one that I personally bought, it has like uh, less than 30 miles on it. It's basically new. Every dollar spent enters you to win that is all you have to do the second you make a purchase you're automatically entered right, and we'll take care of it from there once we announce the winner here on this channel after april 15th we'll take care of all the rest to get the bike to you so that's that if you want to we're taking that first link in the description top comment either ways got a few hours of sunlight it's gonna be a great day going to check out some new places today and some familiar ones see what happens let's go all right folks lock it in we're about to have a banger of a day if you're excited for today's content make sure you hit the like button and of course watch to the end because it is going to be a doozy of a ride today. Let's see what happens. First, we got to get to this traffic. We're right here on Fig. And that's where we're getting started. What's going on here? This guy's on the phone. Did someone just get hit? Like a car accident or something? I look like I'm just standing there and this car has got its hazards on. It stopped. Yeah, I think someone did hit him. He just, he just stopped in the middle of the road. And we got a Brinks truck. Hello. Don't mess with them. Real quick before we head straight into the neighborhoods, I want to go over here. This is UFC, or at least like the outskirts of it. I'll never really come over here, so let's uh, let's just take a quick spin before we hit the neighborhoods and see what's going on in this part of town. Why not, right? Why not? Oh, we got Willie Kid. This looks fresh. Big car accident. I, I think I saw this on the scanner when I was coming down. It said uh, car versus pedestrian accident. This looks like it was bad. I wonder if the scooters had something to do with it. I don't trust these scooters as far as I can throw one of them, which is uh, probably decently far, actually. This intersection is super sketch. People come flying down here, and as you can see, it's got like eight different lanes, so easy to get confused. Anyway, this is USC. We're not gonna go into the school right now. Uh, we are gonna dip a little bit through this side, which is like the Science Center and something else. Just a little bit of sightseeing before we get down and dirty into the neighborhoods. These kids know something I don't. I am spooked about just <laughs> jaywalk. Uh, you know what's funny? I recently learned this. Jaywalking is legal in LA, but it's sketch, man. I don't know why they would make that. I mean, I wouldn't say it's legal, but it's like no longer a ticketable offense, apparently. I may be mistaken about that, but that's what I heard. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's such a, I, I remember my best friend, Dominique, got a jaywalking ticket when we were younger, and it was just, it felt so petty, you know? It was so ridiculous uh, for him to have gotten that, and, like, uh, we could barely afford to pay for our bike parts, let alone a ticket. Here's that space shuttle that we rode by. Here's a closer look. One of my commenters, Wolf, said the name of it. I forgot what it's called already. Uh, it's a really famous shuttle, though. I'm sure he'll be in the comment section today, too. Let us know. Anyways. A little bit of shredding for us as we get things started. So if we go left right here, we go through another big open field. You can see there's a lot of rain damage on the ground even at corrosion. I'm sure it's from the rain that's recently going on. Lots of mud and dirt right here. Luckily the Suron's built for that. Built for just about anything. I had mud and mystery liquids just kick up into my mouth. So uh yeah. That's what we're dealing with. California Science Center right here. This is uh where I had my high school prom and we came here I think in like sixth grade for a field trip, fun times. Anyways, off we go. There's like a lot of uh, police officers in there. I don't really want to start today off with the wrong attention, so we're just gonna go ahead and keep moving. Familiar start territories right here. This is the LA Football Club. Oh, almost ran into that, whoops. BMO Stadium, official stadium of the LA Football Club. Came here to watch System of a Down once. That was a fun time, really nice. Uh, venue they got up in there. I definitely have low tire pressure. Dude, this thing is, is so fun to ride up. This is actually kind of sketchy doing it this way. I didn't realize. See, look here, it's it's kind of chill. This side is steep. I think I can ride up right here. Let's find out. Or uh, 
after we start today in tragedy. Oh, nice. A little bit of urban enduro. What is this? It's like a photo thing. The lights are on. Yeah, the lights are on. Someone must be doing a photo shoot like right now, but they just stepped away from those are nice lights too. No, no, don't leave them unattended for too long out here in LA. It's kind of a big drop. Can we send it off for this? Ah, oh, dude, it's nothing for a sir on, man. This thing is just built different. <laughs> it, uh, it feels just as cushy. Well, I wouldn't say as cushy as my full suspension enduro EMTB, but uh, it's 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 similar. All right, we're gonna mob down. Hit this left, and off we go, getting our ride started. So we're right here on the side of Figueroa Street, which we will end up coming back up. For now, I wanted to go this way a little bit. It's rare that I go this way for really any reason. I mean, there's not much going on this way except for traffic. There's a couple fun neighborhoods to check out, but once you get out of this area right here, like the, uh, the USC Science Center type area, it just, uh, you know, there's not really that much to do, but we're going to at least check it out real quick before we go to, you know, where we're actually aiming to be at today. All right, so here we are on Martin Luther King Boulevard in Menlo. So not Menlo Park like the Bay Area, but uh, it is an interesting part of town to start in. A little bit different than where we usually get things going. Here on Vermont, we could make this left. We're already like in an area that I never really come ride down. The last time I was out here was, uh, dang man, it must have been like six years ago. We got the outdoor merchandise for sale. What do they got? Anything here you guys would buy? Let me know in the comments. I'll take that unicorn. Maybe the Hello Kitties. Ooh. Trying to do some mystery substances. All right, let's go ahead and pop into this, or maybe not. Maybe we'll take the next one. Let's go ahead and scoot our way around here a little bit. Yeah, last time I came through here, I, I'm pretty sure it was on my BMX. This must have been like four or five years ago. Something was going down in this complex. It was right here. I don't, like a fight had just started. There were like girls screaming at each other, like at the top of their lungs. And then I saw dudes coming this way. I saw like six dudes hop out of a car right here. And I was like, all right, well, uh, you know, <laughs> Nowadays, if I was on my Suron, I probably would have stuck around for a bit, but when you're on a BMX, like you're just so slow, you just don't want to be stuck in any one place ever. So I went ahead and got up on out of there. I am now rolling through, I don't know if this is a backyard or an alleyway, but there's definitely a lot of barbed wire. It looks like it is an alleyway. It is, what time is it? 4.11, it's a little later than I thought. Once you start rolling this way in the sun, it's very hard to see where you're going. Interesting scenery right here. Looks like an abandoned car. I think someone is inside of this right now. Dang. Look at that. Dang, look at that. That's like a new car spray painted. Oh, no, it's not. I was about to say, it looks like a new car that got spray painted on. Okay, we got situational awareness on high right now. I'm going to get a better look at this car. This is crazy. I don't think anyone's inside of it. Uh-oh, we got a dog. We got our first stray dog. Oh, he's approaching. We got a cat too. Yeah, like I said, we gotta be careful about animals back here. What do you guys think, stolen? Abandoned? I can't even really tell what's going on here. I do wanna go further that way, but it's recently rained. I don't know. We got the cats out. We are in pretty active neighborhoods already. This oh, oh, oh. Dude, he just got right out of that fence. That's crazy. That thing is not very... <laughs> If that was a big dog that got out like that, I would have been cornered. I would have been forced to go through the other way, through the mud and just see what happens. <laughs> so some of y'all remember that time I got cornered by a husky back here. Luckily it was a friendly husky, or at least like relatively friendly. And uh, yeah, that was uh, in kind of the neighborhoods that we're checking out today. Not so much where we're at right now. Uh, I need a Big Mac, so we're about to hit the drive through just kidding, I'm just going this way. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't even know how. I just kind of got lost in thought, so I'm just gonna spin in the drive through real quick. Fun fact, that was one of the first things I did when I got my first Suron back in uh, 2021, I think that was when it was. Dang, it's already been like three years since I've been riding Surons. And uh, like the first week I got it, I went through the drive through at In-N-Out <laughs> just to see if they would let me in it. 
and uh, they did. They did. They really had no problem with it. I went and got a, a double double in fries, and then rode it home on my Suron out there in Canyon Country. Anyways, uh, this is the other end of that alley we were just looking at. Let's see how it looks from here. Yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of big standing bodies of water. I did not feel like getting splashed in my face with the stagnant water today. Looking out for dogs as we cruise along. It was the same. It was, uh, as a matter of fact, I know exactly where it was. It was this next block over to the left was the alley we rode through when a dog cornered our ass. Now, the only reason that happened is because I went down a dead end alley. This is why I always tell you guys about it, why I, do, I, try, I try my hardest to avoid dead end alleys, y'all. They are just uh, usually a death sentence <laughs> in most cases. Because uh, once a dog catches on to your scent and they realize, that you are moving slowly enough for them to catch up to, they will catch up to you. Just looking at all this graffiti back here, it's kind of kind of wild how much uh, tagging there is. When you see tagging all over the place, like a house like this, just completely covered in tagging, you know you're in a sketchier part of town, which uh, we all know that <laughs> right now. We're in, uh, you know, South Central. Look, even the trees are tagged up. That's when you know it's, uh, yeah. I mean, somewhere you want to be after dark. Anyways, off we go. We're doing a little bit of alley cruising before we get to the, uh, you know, real action today, which is going to be further southbound from where we are right now. Just getting started. It's going to be a long video today. Lock in, folks. I know you guys are itching for long, fresh content. And don't worry, I'm itching to deliver it. So we both win. I'm looking at these little streets, though. These are, these are cool to just to check out. A lot of these I've just never even, you know, been down ever. So we're just going nice and easy looking at things as we do oh yeah we're on 39th street so the goal for today is to end up at least around 70th that shows you how far we got to go about 30 ish blocks southbound from where we're at right now that's a pretty random uh intersection so look at this gigantic structure <laughs> it's like it's kind of crazy i don't even know what this is it's being built i know it's been been being built for a really long time though like at least a few years as far as i can remember seeing it but uh, I just don't even know what this is. Like, it's just a big thing. I do know that if I lived here, this is a gigantic eyesore that you now just have to live with. <laughs> it's just there every day. I wonder if this has something to do with the upcoming Olympics. I'm pretty sure we're hosting the Olympics soon, I think. I remember hearing that somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, off we go. Back on the main streets. Time to go south down, folks. We did a quick tour of some areas that I wanted to check out. And uh, we're going to keep doing that. Now, we're going south. Cool graffiti right there. Beautiful day. Man, just a great day to be outside shredding on the Suron. Then I'd rather be doing today. All right. Ooh, this would be a big no-no if I wasn't paying attention. That's an instant flat tire, especially on this. So I did a pre-ride inspection today to check out everything on my Suron. And I just realized that my rear tire is basically bald. There's almost no traction left on it. So as much as I do like these stock tires, it is time to switch them out soonish. I don't know exactly when. It's uh, it's a little bit of a process to take the tire off of the Suron. Uh, if you have the right tools, it's easy, but without them, wow. Good thing I did not jump on the bus or jump on the street right there. The bus would have just straight up murked me at three miles an hour. <laughs> oh man. Okay, anyways. That brings us right back to this corner, Vermont and King Boulevard. From here, we're gonna go south on Vermont for about, ooh, look at that pink car. Wow, that thing's cool. Yeah, for about 20 minutes, we're just gonna go southbound for a bit, see what's going on, hit some alleys. If we go west right here, we end up in uh, Crenshaw area, Lamert Parkish area, a lot of neighborhoods. It could be fun to free ride over there, but uh, there's just not that much visual I thought I heard someone calling me. It's not that much visual stuff to see, like uh, you know, excitement in that sense. So we'll just be um, getting it easy as we go. Got that nine bot. Dude, everybody's got their own personal scooter nowadays. I feel like I see those more out here. Liberty tax, man. I would do it if I had to. Don't get me wrong, there's no work that's above me. If I needed paper, man, I would hop out there and hold the sign. You got a bank. That's it. <laughs> That's it. This is almost a spot. Let's try and hop off the ledge. Oh, almost whiskey throttled it. <laughs> These slow motion hops on this thing are sometimes a little confusing. Trying to avoid the glass, but absolutely failed. Okay. All right. So 
Let's go ahead and go this way, huh? Why not? Huh? Let's, let's just go ahead and explore. That's the whole point of what we do. We get out and we explore a little bit. Nice truck right there. Love that. Big old tagging on the side of a house, man. That sucks. If I was a homeowner out here, I would be pissed. Straight up, I'd be pissed. I mean, that's the only way I can put it. I would be furious. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Apartment complex right here. Nice pair of crutches. I didn't know crutches are expensive. Nothing out of the ordinary. Actually, we gotta go back and look at this. What is this? I don't know if this is artwork or what. Oh, it's Rams artwork. I, I saw this from a distance. I was like, what the hell is that? It's Rams artwork and gang tag is over it. <laughs> you can't make it up, man. <laughs> you can't make it up. That's LA for you. All right. Oh, look at that clean E30. Isn't that E30 BMW? All right, off we go. We got super sidetracked. That's kind of the whole point of what I do. Let's <laughs> just get sidetracked. Got Fast and Furious right there, plus 10 horsepower with the spoiler. Yeah, my videos for anyone new is just a uh, a long sequence of me getting sidetracked all day. <laughs> Pretty much, that's kind of what I do. You know, I ride around and just get sidetracked. I kind of have like a loose goal in mind, and uh, some days it gets accomplished. Most days it just kind of I just kind of ride around scatterbrained and looking cool stuff. So this could be either one. It's still anybody's call. I don't even know myself yet. I have no idea. Right now, we're just in totally random neighborhoods and I'm just trying to avoid riding into the sun. Uh, we got a little sidewalk rhythm section. We love those. I can get off the curb. Look at these nice houses. These are South Central's finest real estate options. If you have uh, secured a property here back in the 90s, then uh, you're rich. You're rich. Simple as that. Especially planted right here in between the Ram Stadium, which is south, and the LA Football Club Stadium to the east. Uh, yeah, you're uh, sitting on a pot of wealth. Who would have seen that coming back in uh, back in the early 2000s, especially the late 90s? Anyone from LA knows out here, late 90s. Woo! Yeah, it's right. It's right. I mean, I was a, I was a tiny child back then, but uh, even I know back then this is just like it was just crazy out here, right? Had the Rodney King riots in the early 90s. In the late 90s, things were not much better. So anyways, we're gonna try and get back up to the main street. We can get lost in these neighborhoods all day if we wish to, but uh, we don't wish to. I thought that tiny child was a dog approaching. That goes to show you how broken my brain is where I think everything is a dog trying to eat me. Is what it is, we gotta try and get across this street. This street right here, hectic, hectic. You will lose your life trying to walk across this street at the wrong time. Got a body shop with a little bit of cool artwork. Definitely a big dog back there, 100%. Oh, you heard him? <laughs> yeah. You just know certain places like that. You just know they got dogs. We got an alley system. It, was, it looks very clean. Oh, look, the dog's out. Uh-oh. Don't, don't. Nope, yep, just bark. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, keep moving. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and keep moving. Luckily, uh, friendly-ish dogs. I wouldn't necessarily say friendly all the way per se, but uh, friendly enough to not come out and eat me. So that's good. Anyways, we're at 46th Street. We are right now officially no more neighborhood surfing. We're cutting back to Vermont. At the very least, we're gonna surf down Vermont for a bit, see what there is on the main street, because uh, these neighborhoods, well, you'll get caught slacking sooner rather than later out here. You know, that's just the name of the game when you're on the side roads in South Central. You're getting lost long enough and uh, someone will find you. <laughs> you know, someone will find you. Anyways, pushing down, like I said, we gotta end up around at least 70th. This guy stopped in the middle of the road. Why's that? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get around him. A little bit of free ride action. Vermont is a relatively chill street up until you get around like 60th. And then uh, it starts to feel a little bit more hectic. But right here, while we're so close to you know, quote unquote civilization. It ain't, uh, it ain't much going on. It's actually nice in a lot of these parts, like you see, like there's somewhat renovated housing. You know, looks nice enough. This is where they sell student housing at, and the students have no idea that they're moving to the middle of the hood. And they're like, oh wow, it's only 2,500 bucks a month for a studio. <laughs> and they're in the, in the depths of South Central. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's what's going on out here. But they're like, oh, I'm only two miles from USC. Go figure, right? That's funny how that works out. Anyways, what's going on back here? Look at this lot. Dang. Oh, they got some cool artwork back there. Looks like it'd be fun to get back there. It's just like a, a random assortment of uh, abandoned cans, like trash cans. Oh, there's sick artwork back there. That's actually 
That's fire. Anyways, we use little pathways. That's cool. What is right here? Is this an alley? Oh, I see a black cat. I would love to try down that, but just the sight of a black cat just leads me to believe there's probably more animals. So we're gonna pass on that. My spidey senses were tingling on that one. I don't know. I don't know. I tend to I tend to trust the spidey senses when they tingle on certain alleys. I just go ahead and and keep it moving right on past them. I'd rather not test my luck any given day when uh, I have the option to test it or not. I'm leaning lately on the side of don't test it, unless I feel 100% locked in on an alley. Uh, what street are we on right now? Damn, what is that? Wow, Beaver Matt catering. Shh, suddenly I'm starving. <laughs> Talk about the power of advertising. We're here on Uber. Going south, school just let out, so there's traffic and kids walking around everywhere We're trying to be as low-key as possible. Hoover is a street that we usually come northbound up when we're done with the ride. Right now we're going southbound on it. Uh, yeah, not much else to say about Hoover. Ugh. This is uh, the street why you don't want to wear orange anywhere out in this part of town. I love my high vis, but you got to keep it green. Even I didn't know that uh, until recently. Even green is a affiliated color down in Compton. I didn't know that and I lived. Uh-oh, tiny dog owners. That's an ankle biter right there. Yep, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> we ain't gonna trust him, sorry. Even he's a Chihuahua. <laughs> hey, the dog that bit me was bigger than Chihuahua, by the way, all right? Everyone's saying, oh, you scared of Chihuahuas? No, I'm not scared of Chihuahuas. I'm, I'm scared of pit bulls. I don't want to get bit by a pit bull. Or anything, for that matter. I don't want to get bit by a Chihuahua either. Anytime you get bit, that is a mandatory urgent care visit if the skin is broken or bruised. Life pro tip, folks. Get bit by a dog, skin's broken, bruised, go to urgent care. All right, we're gonna turn around because we could just ride into the sun right there, but we're not gonna bother. We're getting some uh, crazy looks out here in this part of town. I'm just walking with an agenda. He looked like he got someone to be and someone to see. <laughs> Hopefully that person ain't me. We're just out here cruising. We still got a long way south to go. Um, we're just kind of doing random zigzags. Very nice motorcycle right there. You know what I was saying about the other day? If I wasn't filming this, I would be doing this anyway. I'd be getting out and riding around in places where I couldn't be bothered on this bike, even if I couldn't make videos about it. What's funny is when I first got this bike, that's what I was doing for a while. Until I realized like, why don't I just film the way that I ride this the same way that I film like on any of my other bikes. And that is when the video series that you're watching right now started. <laughs> it's pretty much just, just, I was like, I'm doing this anyway. I might as well film it, you know? That probably applies to like 99% of you guys watching this video too. You probably do something that is easily entertaining enough to be a YouTube video, but you're just not filming it. <laughs> a little bit of weird off-road right there. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're on Fig. Oh, we're pretty southbound on Fig too. There's like something on my glasses. You gotta stop. I think it's dirt. What is that? It's like a bug. Yep, we killed a bug. Sorry, bug. Straight up splatted in my sunglasses. That is a cop. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, yep, sorry. Okay, <laughs> don't mind me. Hey, I love you, dog. Okay, he doesn't love me. Okay. <laughs> she did not seem entertained at all either. She wanted to sick her dog on me. Okay. Well, we didn't uh, attract the attention of the motorcycle cop. Now we got some RVs parked on the side of the road. One of them's got a door open. Oh, this is sketchy. I don't know, it's fine. Okay. I just, you know, chilling. I feel like if I had a, uh, if I had a house, I would buy an RV too, and I would park it in front of the house. And then it's just like having an extra house. Like you just want to go outside and like get away from what's going on in the house. I don't know. For whatever reason, you just go in an RV and then you're in an RV. Okay, that motorcycle cop is up in front of us. I, I don't want him to seem like, I don't want him to feel like I'm following him. But there's another stretch of uh, land over in this side that I wanted to check out that I haven't been to in about, I don't know, I want to say two years. A lot of you guys are new to the channel with the, uh, Saran Gang Zone series, but we've been riding around in these areas for about two years now doing these videos. Now, there goes that motorcycle cop. We're just gonna go ahead and lay low, like right here. We're not gonna try and attract his attention whatsoever. Does he care about me on a Saran? Most likely not, but you know, why poke the beehive? That's what I like to say about uh, most of the situations I encounter out here in LA. He's clearly looking for someone to mess with too, like someone to give a ticket to. Yeah, he's on, he's on, uh, he's on bumpers and he's running plates. Yeah, 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 he's running plates. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and not bother him. Hopefully we don't even appear in the rear view mirror right now, cause, uh, hey man, I'm <laughs> just, yeah, don't mind me. Okay, well, slip by. Hey, uh, see you later. <laughs> Alrighty, 
What do we got here? Mark Taper Foundational Health and Wellness Center. That's cool. Who's Mark Taper? Anyone know? Who's got Google? Man, what's going on here? It's like a little outdoor strip mall. And he's got the tricycle playing in tamales, most likely, or something. I don't know. Anyways, we were on Fig for a second. We're going to ultimately come back up Fig. But uh, right now, we're just kind of dipping and dodging. Where are we, as a matter of fact? Oh, I know where we're at. I know exactly where we're at because many years ago, back when I was still doing these routes on the BMX, we came through here and a police standoff ended right here. I feel like I could say that about 90-ish percent of the places that we have ridden. We've seen a police standoff either begin or end there. But uh, this is another example of uh, a place like that. We are going to try and cross here. We're going to go ahead and wait for the bus. Oh, oh, we're good. We're going to check out both sides of this plaza. First with this side, and then we're going to go to the other side. Homie is in all green, mobbing it across the street. Oh, yeah. Well, well, we do have walk signs. It may be a red light, but we are on a walk sign. Okay, well, let's see what's going on over here. I, I don't think I've ever been here on video on the Suron. I don't think, uh, maybe not, no, I've definitely not been down this street on uh, anything. I don't even think there's really much going on right here. We got a couple RVs. I don't want to get too lost in neighborhoods right now, so, okay, there's no alley right here. We're going to go ahead and spin around, go back. Big tagging right there. Oh, yeah, the Hello Kitty mirror. Very nice. And we're going to pop into the street right here. Where to go from here? Are we? I think we may be in that little area, that industrial section of uh, South Central that we rode through once upon a time. Maybe. I actually don't know. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on back here. We're going to make a left right here. Not want to disturb these gigantic dogs. Definitely a lot of uh, nothing back here. So, yeah, now we know. Back on Menlo Ave, right where we started. This is one of those streets that doesn't run uninterrupted north and south, but where we're at, we're gonna make a left right here on 60th. Fun fact, I grew up on 60th Street. 60th Street in Northside Long Beach, long ago. Back on Hoover, that's uh, how far out of the way we just went. I don't even know how we got here, honestly. We are just, we are straight up getting lost. That's, uh, that's the whole fun of what I do though, is the whole point is to get lost. I am going to check out this alley. Very cautiously though, I see a cat. I can't see where I'm going. I think I'm blocked actually. Oh yeah, we are blocked. This looks like it would be a fun alley to show red down, but that's just not a possibility with those gentlemen right there. We're gonna go ahead and turn it around. We're gonna go south a little bit further. We're just gonna try and make it as far southbound. The furthest south that we will be going is Manchester. Like I always say, not Manchester United, Manchester Street in South Central. That'd be the furthest that we'd go south. Will we actually go that far south? I don't know. I don't know, stay tuned to find out. We're just kind of creeping along right now, checking out the city and uh, seeing things here and there as we do it. Right here on Gage, that's a pretty good uh, sign of where we're at. A little bit of random trash right here. There's a cop right there. No one's in the squad car though. It looks like something's going on in that complex. Oh yeah, there's cops at the front of it. We're gonna go ahead and avoid that for right now. Just wanted to check out this little side street, see if there's an alley for us to check out. A little bit of trash. Abandoned couch, free couch right here. Gage and Hoover. Anyone interested? Okay, payphone, you know what to do if you know what to do. Uh, here at Gage, we're gonna go straight southbound past Gage for just a hot second. Nearing our turnaround. Oh, we got a park right here. How you doing? Okay, I would love to enter the park. It is, uh, looks like it's definitely off limits. But there's a way to enter it from over there, but looks like we gotta go right here. Well, outdoor fitness section. Didn't even see that. Crank out some pull-ups, it's been a minute. Pull-ups with a full face. That's how it's done, folks. Hey, you guys have uh, 20 uh, inner tubes for sale? No, a 19 inch? No. Thanks. They're straight up camped up right here, man. That's tough. Get how you live, though. That's part of life. One day, someone's going to have a tube, and I will be able to pay them for it on the spot, and it will be content. Until that day comes, we're going to keep asking. All right, we got a workout in. That was, uh, you know, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, that happened. We're in an alley right here. Why not, right? 
Win it South Central. <laughs> okay. You hear dogs barking in some of the alleys and it just makes your skin crawl. Makes the hair stand up straight. <laughs> I'm not gonna stand your skin. <laughs> I swear. Alright. Well that was fun. That was uh yeah. Talk about getting sidetracked, right? We are uh that's uh that is what is going on right now. There's still a lot of ground over in these parts we gotta cover. And it's gonna take a long time to do it. Look at this uh look at this yard with poles surrounding it. I wonder if that's a like why that is. Just to prevent people from driving up on it. I don't know. Alright, we did a nice little southbound cruise. We're now on 68th. Like I said, we're gonna make it to 70th if we can, but right now we're gonna make a left and then start cruising up. Look at this outdoor market. I love this. This is sick. How you doing? Oh uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, that's badass, hell yeah. Dude, the outdoor market's so cool. I'm kinda on a move right now. I would've stopped and bought a drink. I'm not really in the uh, stopping mood after we just stopped once. Kinda over here in the neighborhoods, we're scooting our way over to Fig. And then from there, I'm gonna go northbound a little bit. Start there and figure it out. Dude, the Suron just goes and goes. I was thinking about that today. This bike requires you guys know how much I break stuff. I mean, I'm a big boy, you know, I'm 200 plus pounds. I'm sitting at a cool like 215 right now. I'm in pretty good shape, but I break bikes, man. That is what I do. If you want to break your bike, send it to me. I'll see if I can break it. It probably won't take long either. This thing, for uh, the fact that it's kind of just, you know, it's a lot of the parts aren't that great. As a whole, it kind of works pretty dang well. It ain't broken on me yet, so, you know. It is turned up right here on Fig, broad daylight. <laughs> just sitting there eating hot chips in the middle of the good lord almighty fig is wild all right so i kind of wanted to go further south on fig right now we're on 69th uh what let's see what would be the goal here damn there's a lot of traffic what's going on i think we could go a little bit further south and then turn around and come back up this way oh that's something right there Never dull moment out here, you know? It's always like uh, you see something a little different each time you come out here. Okay, so the question here is how far south are we willing to go? We're on Florence. I'm pretty sure the next big street is Manchester because I remember coming through here the day that I started on Manchester and went up that way. Uh, could that be the case? Hard to say, but uh, what I will say is that even on a Monday, <laughs> it's... Big is active, as always. Okay, so I kind of just don't want to go much further south from right here. Ugh, let's pop up on the curb and examine our options for a second. Uh, if we go further south from here, we're going to be just in the trenches. What do you say, folks? Boat right now. Do I go further south or do I go back north? I'm kind of I'm kind of divided. I'm going to start off by crossing. You know, we recently had the... Uh, anniversary it's funny to call it that but yeah the anniversary of the um, north hollywood bank robbery who in here knows about that if you don't know google that uh it was like the 20 the, the anniversary of it was the other day or something every time i see a, a bridge truck i think about that anywho i wonder if all the traffic here is because there's women on the street i wonder if that uh if there's any correlation there you know i wouldn't deem it unlikely holy good god almighty that is crazy all right, we crossed the infamous fig. Look at this pile of trash. It's been here for over a year now. This exact same pile in the same uh, volume, <laughs> one could say. Just dang, look at this, bro. This has got to be a haven for roaches and rats and all types of crap. I wonder if there's anything useful in there. It'd be hard to tell in case he actually, unless he actually got in there and looked. Here's a tool emporium. I'm just mobbing on that little thing. This has been outdoors like this forever. I mean, one day I might come by here and buy a tool, honestly. They got all types of stuff for sale. All right, we're gonna cut back across. We're out here getting jiggy with it. Alrighty, northbound on Fig for a hot second. Let's see what else is going on on the main road, the one that leads you to downtown LA and then out of downtown LA. Depending on where you're trying to go, you know? Oh, good doggy. That is just, that is nothing left to the imagination is what we call that one. That is called nothing left to the imagination, folks. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, there's one of my favorite parts coming up big, though. Straighten up uh, the grass sidewalk. Oh. Pay phone. Here's this burger spot, which has always got a line. This is actually the shortest line I've seen ever. <laughs> so it's only one person. And then one guy who already ordered. All right, so we got a couple alleys we could take back that way, but right now, uh, we're just jamming. We're jamming. Got a pigeon on a loose. I think I just rode through fresh paint. That sucks. We will be uh, riding on Fig all summer. So uh, stay tuned. If you think today's crazy, just wait till it starts to warm up out here. Today's like a sign. It's a Monday. It's relatively early. And uh, it's just insane out here. So it's only going to get crazier, folks. Graffiti right there. But other than that, we're just kind of mopping back. This is where I slipped out a couple videos ago. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Yay. You know, I just want to give a shout out to all my fans out here in South Central. I free ride for y'all. And I mean that seriously, too. Some of you guys are always commenting and saying, like, oh, you rode past my house. You know, that's cool. If you guys ever see anything you recognize in videos, always leave it in the comments. Uh, I, myself, and I'm sure many others enjoy reading that stuff. It's cool, you know, because I'm really out here, <laughs> folks. In case, you, in case you didn't know, this is not CGI yet. You know, we're not there yet. This is not AI video. Will it be in the future? I don't know. Imagine if I could just, imagine if someone could just AI me. You guys see the AI video that's out now or it's coming out? Imagine if someone just did what I did, but it's just AI. I think it'd be a little, it'd be very complex. We're, we're, we're very far away from that still because, you know, I'm sure half of the reason you guys watch is my narration, you know, me talking, maybe, and another half is the writing. And then I don't know what the rest of y'all are here for. I mean, who knows? Maybe you just ended up here, YouTube right here, and you're like, oh, you know what, screw it. Let's tune in, see what this guy's up to today. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate you being here, you know? But uh, will AI take over? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. When will we start seeing AI YouTubers that are actually worth watching and don't completely suck? Still so much ground for us to explore out here in these parts of town. Like this whole neighborhood over here, uh, Slauson and Fig going west on Slauson. There's tons of ground for me to explore. I can go west on Slauson until we hit the Slauson Super Mall. Y'all know the one from GTA. And uh, explore around there for a bit, come back up Fig. I mean, honestly, everything involves coming back up Fig. It's just, it's just the best way to end the ride. Uh, for many reasons. One, it's the most interesting road for uh, a few reasons. Two, it's the safest road to come back up, traffic-wise. For me personally, it's what I've seen in my uh, my experiments in taking all the streets northbound. Fig is the, the most chill as far as people not flooring it like crazy. I mean, there's still plenty who do, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, it's there's not an impending sense of doom and death every time I ride up Fig, basically, so big reason why I come back up. Anyways, there's someone said regular bikes or acoustic bikes, and I thought that was the worst thing ever, but now I'm saying it. Like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta cut that one out. Like, there's e-bikes and then acoustic bikes, that just sounds silly. But, like, it makes sense in a weird way. It just kind of does, so. It caught on to me saying it. Do you guys call regular pedal bikes acoustic bikes? I think that's, that's kind of dumb, but I don't know. Oh, look at that field. Okay, mental note, we're coming back there later this week or next week. Definitely checking out that field and much more on Fig in the next episode of Riding Our Sur on in the streets of LA. Full speed. All right, we're humming. We got to get back to USC one way or another. We're just kind of tanking it. We are tanking it in the street right here along this Tahoe. Uh, I don't really like doing this because you're just not that visible on this Sauron compared to being in a car, or even like an actual motorcycle. So that's why I don't really ride it in the street like I'm a car. Like, what the hell? Is, is this? Oh, what, where are you going? Do not go into the street, please. Dude, we're about to see real life chicken cross the road. We got to round him back in like a sheepdog. Yeah, get back in there. Come on. Go back in there. Get back in there. What are you doing? What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god bro you can't make this stuff up man this is all you can't make it up people <laughs> like i told you i'd be doing this anyway man if i wasn't making videos i'd be out here doing this anyway there's nothing more fun than just getting out and riding around your neighborhood man i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all there's uh there's just there's 
I don't even know what would be more fun to do with a Monday afternoon. At the moments like that, you see a chicken just uh, spawn. The chicken just spawned right there out of nowhere. Wait, what was on a, oh, does he know? He's gotta know. What is going on? His front end is dented and he's on a flat and he's just mobbing. Dude, what is going on? Uh, okay. Like, I, I, I'm thinking about telling him, but clearly he knows. So we're just gonna go ahead and mind our own business. Yeah, he's gotta figure that one out, dude. That's kinda, that's kinda that is just uh, not good. It's the main way I'd phrase that, it's not good. Just another day of uh, riding in South Central, folks. Some of the many things you see on a bike ride. Do we have an alley right here? Oh, we do. You may check that out. A dirt bike just chilling. Love that, that thing's sick. I'm gonna be thinking about that flat tire all night. How, how did that happen? That's, that was one of the stranger things we saw today. A little bit of tent action, that was normal. Got the 110 freeway below us. Let's see. Oh. Oh, dude, that sucks as a male person. She's like, this. <laughs> She's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I ain't dealing with no dang dogs. What is this? U.S. Diplomacy Reserved. And then there's a square, a triangle, and a circle. I got those backwards, too. Circle, triangle, square. But what? That's like the cleanest, most reasonable graffiti I've seen ever in South Central. Last time I was out here, I saw something that I thought was gibberish, but you guys said it was from from some anime, right? Like One Piece? I think you guys said it was from One Piece. I've never watched One Piece. The last anime I watched, this, I, this is probably gonna age me, the last anime I watched was Fully Cooly. And I was like in sixth grade. <laughs> That's the last time I ever watched anime, so. It's been a while. I tried to get into Attack on Titan, but I just don't watch like TV, you know? I'm, I just, my brain, my attention span is just completely decimated by playing video games. So I can't even, lock in on any tv show and pay attention to what's going on i just immediately lose focus so i wasn't able to get into it but if i was to watch an anime i'd probably start there with uh attack on titan anywho right now we're hitting the gas wow what a full ride we got a uh a little back neighborhood adventure we hit some alleys we hit fig got a little bit of off-roading you know, a little bit of everything. I'm I'm really loving how comfortable I'm getting on this bike. I really feel like I can handle it in a way that I could not a year ago. And, uh, you know, it's still bone stock. Now it's like, I would like to upgrade a few things on this bike, but it's like, I'm so used to riding it how it is stock that like, I feel like if I change certain things, it changed the, the characteristics of the bike too much. Like I want to put a 16. I feel like, you know, it's, once I start making it heavier, it's going to be less fun. Right now, it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. So, trying to just keep it that way. Still on Fig, we got the big old BMO Stadium. It just truly looks massive from right here. Very impressive piece of LA architecture right there. Very cool. And then we hit Wolf Speed once again. Wow. That's wow, folks. The things you can do on this bike, the sky's the limit. Dude, someone just, someone just tie their dog to a hydrant and leave him? Is this guy just riding along with a bike? We're having another glitch moment. Dude, whose dog is this? Dude, oh, she looks terrified, bro. She's like, oh, her mouth is trembling. Oh, she's looking for her owner, bro. What is going on? Hey, is your dog? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I was worried for her, man. She looks so scared. Yeah, sorry, dude. Oh, it's okay. Hey, take care, man. <laughs> I you guys know I'm more weird if anything than uh, about the, the look at this dude just sending it with his bike that he just uh, acquired in, in the traffic in the oncoming traffic just doesn't care that was one of the more bizarre things we've seen today was that uh, uh, yeah I mean go down start where, where do we start huh just go down the list of uh, weird moments from today I don't even <laughs> oh man some days all you gotta do is get outside you know and then it just, it, 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 you just see life happening Sometimes life is weirder than anything you can make up. <laughs> Isn't that the funny part? All right, folks, that wraps up another banger. If you enjoyed, get in the comments down below. Let me know. Like the video if you like the video. As always, thanks for watching. Get on hickstand.com if you want to support me and what I do and possibly win a Saran for yourself. But of course, like I said, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video very soon. Peace out.